I paint on several paintings at the same time because, you know, oil is drying so slowly. I do tuck them to the wall, so the raw canvas. It's good because um, you have the, the canvas without the stretcher bars and you can later decide if you, if you take it, if you cut it, if you, if you roll it for some time to see when inspiration comes again. I also like this heavy canvas and normally you can't buy it. So if you buy raw canvas of really good quality, it's normally in big rolls and you have to cut your own pieces and then later find the stretcher bar. And also if I want to show it at a different place, like here in your lovely gallery, it has to be rolled because of this size, it's practically not possible to, to send it, to, to ship it. I do work in series. Sometimes there are single pieces, but sometimes I feel I want to explore a color or a feeling or a season or a memory more in depth. So normally it's series of, let's say 10 or perhaps even five. And then I feel this inspiration has left me now. I'm somewhere else already. Yes, I do, uh, but very seldom. More often, I really like to start fresh. I think this moment when you start, there's so much to it because the white canvas or the gray canvas and you just start with some colors. And I don't think very much about it before. I just go to it. I love colors, what you can see here. And I love to explore while doing it. I love this moment when I start because there is total freedom and then you have set some brushes and already you feel, okay, now I have to go on like this or like that. So, so sketches on inspiration. Painting with oil colors or with colors on a big canvas has to follow its own way. So I don't want to be directed in the, in the sense that this sketch, I want to transform it to the canvas or so. I don't do that. Oh, I liked it. I was surprised. It's such a beautiful city. I wasn't expecting this. The old town is uh, wonderful, I think. And it's with all the restaurant and pubs and it's full of young people. So I, I find it a very vibrant and lively city. And I like to be here in this gallery. It's a beautiful place. The old city, this this full of this city full of history. You can feel it. The culture you can you can see here. So I was surprised to see so many. I mean, theater, uh, opera, galleries. The liveliness of the city. So it's really a young city, and that feels very nice. Oh, from many from many sources. <laughs> So, of course, I have some painters which are close to my heart. Sometimes, if you are really into, into painting, sometimes it happens, I look to something and, and, and you stare a little bit, and sometimes the, the shapes become a bit abstract. And you, that can be a, an inspiration, or you just see a table with, with a cup of tea on it, and you try to transform that into something abstract. So, well, I don't suffer from lack of imagination and inspiration, I must say. So I'm, I always find my way and I always like to explore more, more colors, more shapes, more sizes, more materials also. And to come back to the, the painters I'm inspired by, from the older one, Monet and Bonnard, and the contemporary, there are Martha Jungwirt, so there are many, or what else? There is an Australian painter, Elizabeth Cummings, John Mitchell, I mean, there are many. Um, and I have catalogues of, of these painters, and if I really don't know how to go on, I open one of these beautiful books and I look to it and I think, oh yeah, that is wonderful. And I can take something out of this, uh, how they did it, how it might be a color, a shape, or yeah, just something. Art for me is really my way of digesting experiences, take them in and bring them out again. It's my main way of communication 
with the world around me, I would say. For me, it's the most important way of communicating. It's much more than language for me. I like to compare it with a poem or with music because you can never fully transform it into words. And that is what I love about, about painting. You are in a different world, you are in a different language, and, and that is what I, what I love. I would definitely choose Zeit Tomli again, Tracy Emin and Martha Jungwirth, if I'm allowed to be among them, yes. <laughs>